Welcome to my first video on Gateway Tech Server. And this is a technical Minecraft server that I actually joined quite a few weeks ago, but I haven't got around to making any videos on it yet. And this is going to be the first of hopefully many. And today we're going to be messing around with some really cool called item shadowing and update suppression too, which is why we've got this big machine. And this is a lazy update suppressor and I'm not sure how to pronounce the name but I'll put it on screen now and there's a link in the description to the video down below but anyway today we're going to be messing around mainly with item shadowing so if you don't know what that is it's basically quantum entangled items where they have the same well stack value so the server thinks that they're the same stack so let's say these are this is one stack Basically, well, the forming salt we update suppress, so things you haven't removed from that container, so basically you've got it in both containers, just like this. And they've both got the same stack value, meaning that when you throw one item out of here, so let's say they both have two, then they'll also throw one out on here, and this will just disappear, just like that. So basically, let's just quickly do a quick demonstration, so it's the update suppressor, so this is we just turn it on like that, press that button, now it's active. So, what we want to do is first put in two dummy items. This is for 1.18 item shadowing, by the way. And we're in 1.19 on the server, but they decided to add the mod back in item shadowing and update suppression. So, once we've got the shadow items, uh, the dummy items in, I mean, then we put a comparator on a trapdoor next to a chest. It can be in any direction, facing away from the chest, facing into the chest, any direction, but this is the easiest to place. Then, with these in, we're going to open the trapdoor. So now the comparator is in an illegal state, just like this. So that if it's updated, then it'll pop off. And now, what we're going to do is taking our stack, we're going to drag click it, and we're going to click once on the first dummy item. As you can maybe see in the corner of the screen, the comparator has now popped off. Now, still holding this dummy item, we're going to click once on the second dummy item. And there we go. And that may look a bit weird, but basically I've still got this dummy item that I used to click once. And the other one, the second dummy item, has transformed into a shadow stack. So now these are shadowed, so let's put... Now we have to be very careful with these, using only on number keys to transport them. So there we go. And now, watch carefully down there. When I throw one out, as you can see, they both go down, just like that. So as you can see, they're going down, and this works at really fast speed. And when we do this, it picks up. So let's say we put this in the, con let's say we put one stack in there, and then we do that. So that's 46, remember that value. As you can see, 46, 46. And then there's also some item duping that you can also do. So if we do that, then we go in here and we start by halving stacks and throwing all of them out on the ground like that. We had to, and yeah, I think they've actually disabled it on this server. That doesn't work. But that's basically it. So let's get into, well, the survival thing, because you want to see us playing on the actual server, don't you? The first thing I had to build was this update suppressor. So this is what makes it all possible, basically. And this is the exact same thing as you saw before, except it's a bit flashier using some deep slate diamond ore and also some stripped um, warped logs and it's just exactly the same thing but i have extended it a bit further along so the first thing i made is this this is a simple automatic well basically all this does is it automatically opens the trap door for us when we place the comparator so we don't have to manually open it that's basically all it does this is just a normal shadow station and then here is a sliced portal that we made Normally it would be longer, but we broke it. Don't know why. This I probably will remove a bit later. And over here is something really cool you can do with update suppression. It's not really shadow items at all. 
instead is um well this is basically a machine to make a waterlogged falling well a falling waterlogged scaffolding block yeah it's designed by rhythm and it's very cool basically that's everything that we've got going on at the moment around the update suppressor it is down here that, well, things get a bit busier. So all of these are basically the same thing, just in different styles and different configurations. So here are my two. Basically, it's one barrel. This has a shadow stack. This isn't actually synced at the moment. And all the rest are blocked by items. And then here we have two droppers filled with the same item as shadow stack. And when they're activated, only the rockets can go into this slot so i've got more stock back here too and we've got this little observer clock which you can turn on and off so when this goes down this will automatically restock it so if it's a shadow stack then your stack of rockets would also be automatically restocking so that's pretty cool and i've done the same thing for food here as well and then this is basically just a tiled version of it. So this has item frames, show which item it corresponds to, the barrel that you put the shadow stacks into, and then the two droppers. And they're all linked up to one lever here to turn it on. And then this thing. This is probably the biggest and most complex thing of them all. This is an item puller linked up to a box loader so as you can see i've already got a box of stone there so what happens is let's quickly float down on top of it in this hopper we have the shadow stack well not stack but free at the moment and then underneath a hopper and when the shadow stack gets too low then this will net the hopper minecart take in some more items meaning that this will drain down until it reaches the threshold and then it'll stop taking items out so we'll always have this but the items get constantly fed into this shulk box loader which then just fills the shulk box when it's full then it breaks it and puts in this barrel for us and now i bet you're wondering where is the second shadow stack well it's actually pretty cool when i say pretty cool i mean it's a stone farm which honestly isn't that cool but the other uh, shadow stack would be in here in the first slot i actually accidentally broke the shadow stack here so that's why it's all filled up but normally there'd just be one shadow stack up here and all stone from a farm and because this is never and we've got water in never actually did that by going to 1.17 snapshot to do that so because we've got water in never and lava flows quicker this is very quick as you can see so we can get loads of stone very quickly and basically what happens is in this first slot is shadow stack and all of the items get sucked from that shadow stack back into the storage back there and then they are put into the shulker loader over here so this drains them that shadow stack all lines pulled out and put into this shulker loader so that shadow stack could be moved to any farm so for example you're gathering gravel for some build or something well you could be mining that have a shadow stack in your inventory and all the gravel would be fed into a shulker loader and put in a barrel like that for you and there are loads of uses for this but that's what i'm using it for at the moment and finally i'd like to say that currently applications to gateway tech are not open but they may open in the future, so I'll put a link to the Discord down below. Maybe where it, they're not open right now, so don't go applying. But if you're looking in the future, then they may be open. So go and join the Discord anyway, as it's a nice place to hang around with us. And before I leave, I'm going to show you why, or actually how, I am building out of diamond ores as my main building block. And here it is, it may not look much, but the keen eye will notice that actually there's a giant ditch in the ground. So I've been starting a world eater as I want to build an end of light farm. And we're either going to build 
a new end of light bomb I designed that basically works by pushing mobs into the portal which is right next to it so it'll still work when they stop mobs from spawning portals or just a normal end of light bomb with sliced portals but either way I've made the trenches so far and I just need to build up world eater now and run it Basically, I've been gathering all diamond ores I see, and that's how I've got enough to build with it. And finally, I'd like to say that currently, applications to Gateway Tech are not open, but they may open in the future, so I'll put a link to the Discord down below. But really, well, it, they're not open right now, so don't go applying. But if you're looking in the future, then they may be open. So go and join the Discord anyway, as it's a nice place to hang around with us.